Embattled Long Island MP Adrian Gibson says he's not giving up his elected seat in Parliament just yet, this despite being scheduled to go to trial at the end of this month. Now he and five others have all been served with a voluntary bill of indictment in connection to multiple counts of money laundering, bribery and conspiracy charges. Lorencia Smith has more on this in our top story tonight. Long Island MP Adrian Gibson receiving his voluntary bill of indictment today for bribery and fraud related charges stemming from an investigation into contracts awarded by the Water and Sewage Corporation during his term as executive chairman. Notwithstanding that, Gibson is maintaining that he's not resigning from his seat in the lower chambers. Gibson served alongside Jerome Mizek, Roche Gibson and Joanne Knowles. Now he did speak with Eyewitness News while leaving the magistrate court this afternoon. You maintain in your position, are you planning to resign? Uh, we've spoken on the matter. We don't have any further comments at this time. So as it sounds, you will maintain to represent the people of Long Island in the House of Assembly? The, yes, yes. I will continue to do so. Meantime, Gibson was greeted by a small group of supporters in the parking lot of the court complex. The former WSC chairman appeared before Magistrate Carolyn Vogue Evans, and as she read the more than 80 charges linked to money laundering and multiple counts of bribery and conspiracy, Gibson could be seen shaking his head and fidgeting. The other co-defendants, Peaches Farkason and Ellsworth Donaldson Jr., were served on August 26. The group will appear before Supreme Court Justice Bernard Turner on September 23rd. Former Free National Movement Cabinet Minister Ellsworth Johnson and Courtney Pacenti represented Gibson, Knowles and Mizick. Roche Gibson was represented by Brian Dorsett. Laurentia Smith, Eyewitness News.